Now, we are experiencing a time right now of extreme worry, anxiety, not to mention the stress. And all of those things can have a negative effect on our mental health. It could also create issues with our physical health. Now, for black Americans, these issues may be exacerbated by the recent killing of black men and women and seeing the images of national protests. News 3 reporter Kofo Lasaki spoke to an expert about how to cope and heal right now. There's a real questioning about the value of life, bringing into question where we are with humanity. It's okay to not be okay right now. Ernestine Duncan, professor of psychology at Norfolk State University, says many people are struggling. And I feel that for people of color, for African Americans specifically, that this time is now being met with lots of messages that strongly suggest that our lives do not matter. While African Americans are facing disproportionately higher rates of COVID-19 deaths and hospitalizations, they are also fighting for justice in the wake of the recent killings of Ahmaud Aubrey, Breonna Taylor, and George Floyd. People feel hopeless, they feel helpless. And those are two very important characteristics that lead to depression. When people are in situations in which they don't see any way out, any way of making an effective change, it leads very often to feelings of depression. Duncan says people may feel anxiety and depression watching or participating in a protest, not knowing how it will end. She encourages people to practice self-care when they are feeling overwhelmed. And that may mean turning off the television, not watching the news, taking a break from social media, because there is literature, science, research that suggests that these repeated exposures are detrimental to the health of the people who watch it. Duncan says people should identify what strategies work best for them while they cope with a range of emotions. For some people being able to journal, for some people being able to talk, for some people prayer, their religious and spiritual practices, but for some people, a therapist. No matter how you're feeling, Duncan says it's important for everyone to address these issues head on. Addressing it among ourselves so that we can find support and then addressing it with those who don't look like us in an attempt to affect some positive change. Kofo Lasaki, News 3.